So let's jump right in, guys. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, guys, let's jump right in. Okay, Divine Masculines. What are your thoughts on the Divine Feminine right now? What are your thoughts? on or about the divine feminines right now oh that was fast they're going within they're really thinking about something here and what they're thinking about is coming in to make an offer again another airplane okay so they're really thinking about coming in to make an offer an offer of, of abundance. Commitment. This person is really, really, really dedicated to what they're doing, what they're thinking about, what they're feeling, the offer that they want to make. They're taking responsibility for their actions. They're seeing things in a new light. And they know that they're heading in the right direction with this decision and offer that they want to make. One, one, one. What else are you thinking about the Divine Feminine, please? Wanting to work together, thinking about working together, being together with this Divine Feminine. Offering up their, their help. Offering their emotions. And this is for a lifetime. They want to build something that will last a lifetime. Some of these masculines, they don't even know how to express their emotions, how to come forward with this this offer and they're gonna probably do it in a way you're not gonna expect they'll show you some of them they can't say it but they'll show you here you have the wheel the wheel of fortune destiny strength so they're definitely getting the strength to come forward with this offer. To make this offer. Because they are different. They were driven by the passion that they had for you, Divine Feminine. To make this change. To overcome the difficulties. To overcome the challenges that were standing in their way. And they're coming to make their offer. What else are you thinking about Divine Feminines, please? The Princess of Pentacles. That's like the Page of Pentacles in the regular tarot deck. This is someone who has the desire for something new, a new adventure, a new beginning, new start. And one that they know that will be abundant. One that they know that will satisfy them. They are making sure that everything is in order. Cross every T's, dot every I's. Because what they are planning for the future, as I said, it is long term. Something they want for the long term. There you go. Victory. That's their aim. That's their aim, the Six of Wands, to have victory. To be able to stand in public with you, introduce you in public, 
let everybody know that you're theirs and they're yours they want to be happy they want to make you happy I, I, I'm seeing dancing I'm seeing dancing like line dancing a celebration I want to celebrate what else divine masculines tell me more about this hermit card and what you want with the divine feminines please and what you're thinking the high priestess they're going to be following their intuition whatever it is they, that they come up with whatever idea whatever thoughts whatever guidance they've been given they're going to be following their intuition and they know that this feeling that they have their intuition is leading them all the way back to you and they know that they're making the right decision you're listening to their inner voice God is guiding them and they know that that's the truth the divine truth the truth and nothing but the truth they're gaining knowledge on this situation and guys you all know when I see my black and white I gotta say it it's my yin yang twin flame card baby <laughs> so they're definitely thinking about this connection and the, the soul connection that you guys have because that's where they feel their connection for you in their soul not just in their heart oh I have a little a little love for this person no 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 they feel this love deep down in their soul they can't get rid of it they can't get rid of it here they're gonna make things happen yep tell me about this whoa whoa come on man <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they always letting my cards fly away and stuff. Gotta do some acrobatic bending and stuff to get them from where. <laughs> okay, so here we have the Ten of Pentacles. As I said before, whatever they're planning for you, it's long term. A legacy. A legacy and I like how this reading has a lot of pentacles so you know that this is something that's gonna be tangible something worthwhile something that you can feel something you can touch something you can understand you know their legacy I said it before they want to build a legacy they want to offer you something that will stand the test of times as much as it's standing the test of times now. They are going to be ending something so they can have this new beginning with you. So they can come forward to offer you that abundance. There they may be ending a commitment. And coming forward to you to offer you this commitment. Tell me about the three of pentacles and what you're thinking about it. Okay, dude, no problems. A seven of wands. There are definitely obstacles and blockages, delays that were caused. Caused by their inner their emotions their inner child their own minds them thinking like they're not good enough but when some of them look at you the beauty that they see sometimes it's overwhelming and sometimes they really feel like they aren't good enough for you. Again, coming with another offer. A surprise offer. 
Tell me about the strength card, please, and what you're feeling about the feminine. The page of wands. Look at him getting himself together. Gaining the strength needed, needed to take this jump. To explore his freedom. And trust me, they are very excited about this. They are very excited about this new journey that they are going to go on. Where they were young and immature before, well now they have grown up, they have grown some balls and they are moving forward. Yep, they have grown balls alright. And taken some balls on the way also. They have robbed that bull off their balls. I think that's what they were doing. Fighting that bull. Fighting that delay. Fighting that obstacle. And now they've overcome that obstacle. They have won the fight. And now they can move on. Because now they are free. They feel free. And they're moving on to their empress. Something new. Bringing forth something new. It could be that it was like a mother figure that was standing in their way. You know, a mom, a grandma, a baby mom, a mom. Okay, tell me about this princess of pentacles. Oh boy, I love that. All pentacles, look at that. And you have the four of pentacles. Not wanting to let go. Not wanting to let go. That desire that they have to be with you. That new adventure that they want to go on. That's what was guiding them. Giving them the strength to move on, to move forward. To hold on to your love and they're not going to let go off of that love. They feel a sense of security when they're with you. When they think about you. When they think about making you that offer. And when they think about the offer that you had made to them before in the past. And that they, they, didn't, they didn't accept because they couldn't. Because as I said, there were obstacles standing in their way. Things that caused them great delays. But now they have conquered those. They have conquered those. Which one? Okay. The big ones. Okay. What else do you want to say, Divine Masculines? Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad you are confirming message <laughs> okay divine masculines what else do you want to say what else are you thinking about these divine feminines Ooh. Ooh. the four of wands that's commitment that's Planning for a happy family, happy life, happy home, everything. I tell you what they're planning is something long term. They're transforming into a new person, a new man. Look at that. Oh my God. The Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands. They're planning on their legacy leaving something that everybody can see everybody can know about everybody will understand oh my lord yes man plan 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 they want to leave their legacy and it's two ten of pentacles that we have here and look in this ten of pentacles it's a family here 
No, if you can, let me see if I can get it. Too soon. It's a family. A family in the picture. That's what he's looking for. Five, 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 a change. That's what he's looking for with the divine feminine. A family, building a legacy, tradition. And then you have the king of cups. This is him expressing his emotions. He has control of his life right now. He has control. Everything is in order. He's awakened. His mind, body, and soul are aligned. God really did a number on this king. Because he's aligned. His heart is open. Everything is open. What else? What else, please? The Four of Swords taking a break. Resting. He was beat out from tackling that bull. <laughs> and now it's time to restore his life to the way that it should have been from the beginning. Restore it to how it was in the past with his divine feminine. Opening up his heart. Releasing all the baggage, all the burdens. Ten of Wands. And it's time for a new beginning. Yep, underneath that is the tower. Endings, endings. What else, please? What else do you want to say? What else are you thinking about the Divine Feminine? What else are you thinking about the Divine Feminine, please? The Page of Wands. It's just repeating it. The Page of Wands is there already. The Page of Wands is there. Wanting to go on that new adventure. They can't wait to go on that new adventure. They can't wait to explore that new beginning with the Divine Feminine. They can't wait to explore their new freedom, their new sense of freedom that they're feeling. Because they're no longer trapped. And look, oh my God, the counterparts came out. King of Cups. And the Queen of Cups. Don't worry how they look different, okay? This is a twin flame reading. Twin flames are not the same. <laughs> twin flames are not the same, okay? They are totally different, okay? He didn't expect that his partner would be a moose underwater. And the moose under the water did not expect his partner, her partner, to be a king in a chair, okay? Don't you remember that card? Your soulmate may differ from your expectations, okay? So, don't judge. <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> but the Queen of Cups is here with the King of Cups. They're ready to explore life together. Thank you. <laughs> They're ready to explore life together. He's waiting, getting his stuff together, aligning himself. And she's just calm and ready to explore. What else, please? What else are you thinking about a divine feminine, please? She has her cup that overflow with his emotions and her crown ready to put on ready to put her crown on and be the queen by his side because there you have a seven of cups he knew that she was the only choice the best choice 
Nobody else. As I said, she has her crown ready to put on. I saw 444. He knew that she was the only choice. And here, even though he left her out in the cold, he was thinking about this, but he knew that she was his only choice. And fives are all about changes. Because there you are, the son. She makes him so happy. She makes him so happy. He could not be happier right now. And the way that he feels free. Oh my God, he's like Zen. Look at him. Yoga. You know, yoga king. I tell you they are transformed. The man is doing yoga. Now he's relaxing and enjoying his sense of freedom. The pleasure that he feels when he thinks about the Divine Feminine, the joy and the celebration that he's feeling right now in his heart because he so wants to work together with her now. And he knows that with both of them working together, building together, the amount of success and happiness that they will have together so they can leave their abundance for their children, their grandchildren. And here you have the nine of wands taking his last stand, taking his last stand, fighting for what it is. Tell me what else are you thinking about, please? What else are you thinking about these divine feminines? Nurture a child. Yep. He so wants to make her feel comfortable within herself. He knew he wasn't doing such a great job. But now, that's what he's coming back to do. Make her feel worthy. Make her feel like the queen that she is. healing there you go coming back to be being bring balance into her life balance and justice bringing in the truth because hey he knows three 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 he can't run from this he can't run from this and he knows that because she's the only person that makes him happy and there's no need to worry He'll get nowhere, but now it's time to plan. One more card, please. One more card, please. There you go. He's growing. I told you he's changing into a new man. He's growing. Balancing his head, his heart, his soul. And free will will F you up. That's why... He was thinking about the past and when he left her out in the cold because it was his own stupid decisions that got him to do that with, with that seven, seven of cups card. Thinking that all the other choices were different, were, be were better. But now he figured it out. No, 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 no. What else are you thinking? In regards to the Divine Feminine, please. Oh, look. She's on his mind all the time. All the time. All the time. And he's ready for that new beginning. Following his intuition, moving towards the Divine Feminine. And look, he's moving in silence. He's moving in silence and he's being very clever about the way that he's going to approach her. There you go. He's even going to be playing some tricks. Deceiving you. Making you think that he's not even interested. Until you get a message. 
because he's been researching, he's been studying, he's been studying you. He's been studying your actions. Does she really want me? Does she really think that I'm good enough for her? That's why he's been so clever around you and playing tricks just to find out where you stand in his life. As I said, these masculines, some of them have been hurt before and they don't want it to happen again. Anyways, guys, one more card. There you go, the blockages. There were blockages before those hurt that he, he felt before. He doesn't want to feel them again. Give me one card, please. One card. Two. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And forgive. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Divine Feminines, take care. Bye.